Oh, here's something I want to show you at Urban Heights about scented geraniums. You see these that are planted, they were planted this year. These scented geraniums are literally have been in the ground for about six weeks. You see this little flower coming up here. That flower right there, even though it's called a geranium, it's really what's called a pelargonium. It's not known for its flowers. What it's known for is all the different fragrances you can get smelling the leaves. Take one here and I'll pop it off. Smell, I wish you could smell it. It smells great. But there are also there are lemon scented, there's old spice, there's nutmeg, there's cinnamon, there's rose, there's all sorts of different fragrances. And it's actually an edible herb. But let me tell you how you use it. Number one is you can take the leaves, you can put them at the bottom of a sugar dish, pour your sugar on so every time you open it up and take some sugar out, you're going to get this fragrance. It's not going to affect the taste, but you'll get the fragrance. The other way is people take the leaves, Put them in a bunk pan upside down, pour your batter on top, then you bake your bunt. When you take the cake out, when you turn it over, that leaf will be baked into the top. It's an edible. Now, what happens is when it was baking and it was down that way with the batter on top, remember when you apply heat, the oil comes up. It actually was coming up inside the batter and as it came up, now when you cut it, guess what you smell? You smell the fragrance of whatever the scented geranium was, and you have the actual design on the top, which makes for an attractive display. But that's one of the benefits of scented geraniums.